Hi, welcome to Heroes Mart Homeschool Academy. My name is Mrs. Nita. Let's begin with a word of prayer. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we shall go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, it's really good to have you. This is lesson 22B, if you're following along. And we are going to begin our lesson with our warm-up song. That's right. So let's go ahead and stand up and sing our song. Here we go. If you're ready to learn, clap your hands. If you're ready to learn, stamp your feet, bum bum. If you're ready to learn, if you're ready to learn, then come and sing with me. If you're ready to learn, clap your hands, clap, clap. If you're ready to learn, stamp your feet, bum, bum. If you're ready to learn, if you're ready to learn, then come along with me. Yay! Yes, we are ready to learn. We are ready to add to our knowledge by God's grace. So what we're going to start with is our consonant sound of the day. We're still talking about consonants. We'll be talking about our vowels in the future video. Right now we want to master our consonant sounds and we are, um, the sound of the day is wuh, 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 wuh. And uh, the wuh sound is represented by the letter W. And uh, you can see that here, but as we've talked about in previous lessons, that doesn't always have to be the case. Sometimes the sound in the letter may be different. And we saw that in the letter Q. Yeah, we know that the, the Q letter is actually represented by KW because it sounds like KW coming together. Qua, qua. And so that's the reason we separate those two. Our word family of the day is IG. Ig, ig. We're going to talk more about our word family of the day after we return from um, completing the assignment on page six in your workbook at this time. Great work. Well, I trust you're able to do that. We're on page 15 in our workbook. What we're going to do is talk more about this word family. The word family comes with a vowel and consonant, which, we've, which we're comfortable with, but now we want to make sure we know the sounds that these letters make, okay? So I says I, 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 I. Notice the openness of your mouth when you say the I sound. I. The G says G, G, G. G, G. So when you put these two sounds together, you get ig, 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 ig. We got it. Great. Ig says ig. That is our word family of the day. This word family says ig. So what word do you think we get when we put all of our sounds together, beginning with the consonant sound? We have w, ig. Wuh, ig, wuh, ig, hmm, wig, 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 we get wig, good job. When you put the w together with your i, g, you get wig, wig. And there's our word family there. He's going to be traveling along with us, as we know, helping us to learn how to spell these words when we're using them in our own writing later. Wuh, ig. Wig, wig. Now that we know that W-I-G together spell the word wig, let's come up with some other words that rhyme with wig. Can you think of a word that rhymes with wig? Hmm. I've got one. What about pig? Pig, pig rhymes with wig. Pig, wig. Pig comes with this initial uh, onset sound, p, 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 or 
or you could say the initial phoneme, if you know by that word. When we attach our word family, which is ig, then you get the word p, ig, p, ig, p, ig, pig, pig. This word spells pig. Okay, so we have P-I-G is how you spell the word pig. Let's come up with another word that we can think of that rhymes with pig or wig. A word that rhymes is wig. Wig, pig. What about big? God, this was so big. So big. The elephant was so big. So we have b, i, g. B, i, g. Big. B, i, g is how you spell big. B, i, g. Big. Big, 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 big. There's our word family, egg. It's going to be traveling along with us throughout the lesson, helping us to master how to spell this word and how to say it properly. So we have big, 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 B-I-G, spell the word big, big, big. So we have wig. Pig, big. Can you think of any other word that rhymes with pig or big? I am sure all of those words are perfectly accurate. On your page 15 in your activity book, you can complete the assignment there at this time and press play on your video when you're ready to continue. Great work. Well, I trust you had time to do that. We're now at the Bible journey segment of our lesson. We like to take a hist take a journey back into a um, into Bible, and it's called Bible history. Uh, we have been studying characters in the past, talking about different characters in the, Bi in the Bible who both please God and displease God. And do you remember the purpose of learning about those characters? So that we can better be in better position to please God because we want to please God. That's the goal in our short lives is to please him so that we can spend an eternity with him. And if you want to spend forever and ever and ever with God, you want to make sure you make him happy when you're on this side of eternity. Okay. And so recently we switched from reading about different characters in the Bible to um, reading a, a book called Good Night God, and the book is designed to be read to you before you sleep at night. It's a cute little book to read. It gives you peaceful dreams. Um, but we're reading it because it talks about different uh, qualities of God and different characteristics that he has as God the Father, and um, we want to make sure that we uh, imitate those qualities because we say we we love you God and we want to look like you and we want to uh, we want to imitate you and so we've talked about how God is kind and how God is loving and how he's forgiving and how he's faithful do you remember those yes we talked about those today we're going to be talking about how God provides for you and um, we'll look throughout the day um, after this lesson, search for ways to put these qualities into practice in your own life. So if we talk about how God provides for you, maybe you can provide for your little sister or your little brother or your baby cousin. And you can look for ways to show that you are indeed um, a child of the King of the Most High God. So let's read about God provides for you. And we're still reading in this cute book. I really like it. God provides for you. Philippians 4.19 says, My God will use his wonderful riches in Christ Jesus to give you everything you need. To give you everything you need. Here we go. Do you need patience? 
some courage, a hug, a place you can go to where you can feel snug. Do you need comfort, some kindness, a chance, a good bit of joy to make your feet dance? God is a giver. You're in his great care. He's all that you need and he'll always be there. Good night, God. Thank you for giving me everything I need at just the right time. At just the right time. Good, good, good. So God is, he provides for us and he helps us to, um, he provides for us in so many ways and he helps us to get through our days by giving us whatever we need. So at this time, you may um, turn to page seven in your workbook and complete the drawing assignment that you see there and return when you're ready to continue. Great work. Well, if Chesty had time to finish that, we're going to move into our mathematics segment of this lesson video. We are, we've been counting to 50. We counted to 50 in the previous lesson. We're going to count to 50 again. And um, this time we're going to count backwards from 50. So we'll go 50, 49, 48, and we'll continue along that trend. We'll start with our abacus again, because it's good to be able to see the objects as you're counting. And subsequently, we will move to our number chart. We'll count backward from 50 on our number chart too, okay? Here we go. Okay, we have our abacus and we're counting back from 50. So we're going to move one over as we're counting back and we'll start with 50. So this will be 50 and then we'll say 49 and we'll continue to move the beads um, to this direction until we get to zero, okay? 49, 48, 47, 46, 45, 44, 43, 42, 41, 40, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 0 are left on this side. Good job. Way to go. Great work. So we just counted backwards from 50 using the abacus. Now we're going to um, count backwards from 50 again. But this time we're going to look at the numerals so that we can continue to make an association between the numbers we speak with the uh, actual numerals, what they look like when you write them. So here we have the number 50. And if you're ready, let's begin. 50, 49, 48, 47, 46, 45, 44, 43, 42, 41, 40, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 
five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, way to go. We counted backwards from the number 50 to the number one. Good job. So if you like, at this time, you may pause your video and complete the counting assignment that can be found on page 12. Great work. Well, I believe you had time to do that. It is our make a joyful noise segment of the lesson. We want to make a joyful noise to the Lord and just um, acknowledge him even in our academics. And um, at this point, if you want to grab your instrument of choice, um, instrument of choice, you can get whatever instrument you have, whether it's a tambourine, a piano, xylophone, harp, guitar, violin, clarinet, drums, anything you have. Bring it out. We're going to give thanks to God using that instrument. I'm going to be using tambourine. And we are on page 25 in the workbook. The song we're singing is called His Banner Over Me Is Love. Here we go. The Lord is mine and I am his. His banner over me is love. The Lord is mine and I am his. His banner over me is love. The Lord is mine and I am his. His banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. He brought me. He brought me to his banquet table. His banner over me is love. He brought me to his banquet table. His banner over me is love. He brought me to his banquet table. His banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. He lifted me up into heavenly places. His banner over me is love. He lifted me up into heavenly places. His banner over me is love. He lifted me up into heavenly places. His banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. Oh, he is the vine and we are the branches. His banner over me is love. He is the vine and we are the branches. His banner over me is love. He is the vine and we are the branches. His banner over me is love. His banner over me is love. Oh, God. So we say his banner over me is love and how true that is. Continue to allow the song of the week to repose in your heart throughout the week so that you can make melodies to God in your heart. He loves it. Well, great. We are the very last segment of our lesson for today. And you can find uh, this uh, information on page nine. We're going to practice writing our letters um, that we've talked about as our word family. Our word family today is ig. Ig. So we're going to practice writing that so that you can use it in your own writing. Whenever you're using it, you can use it um, just when you're forming words or on page 16 in your workbook, practice writing your word family. And um, in addition to that, you can practice writing anything else that um, captivated your attention during the lesson. So maybe you just enjoy counting, you would write about that, or maybe you enjoyed the Bible history portion of the lesson, you can write about that or anything else you've learned, you can write about that as well. So let's practice. Let's practice writing the letters I and G. So we're going to start with the line down for the I, we'll add a dot. Then we're going to make a G. So a G is, uh, we've talked about this before, you just do a, a sort of a circle and go down and you add your hook at the bottom. And that's ig. Ig, 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 ig. Let's try this one more time. We're going to make our little I. And then just side by side, just next to your I, go ahead and practice making that G. Just careful that it's really uh, appropriate closeness to the letter I, because when you're forming words, you want the letters to be side by side. 
And uh, just as a reminder, you can add any of the consonant sound, consonant letters that you've learned about today right here in front of your word family to form a word. So if you really like the word pig, you can add a P here. Or if you really enjoy eating figs, maybe you'll write an F here, right? F. So you put F because F says and then you have egg, egg, fig, fig, fig. F-I-G spells fig. Pig, 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 pig. P-I-G spells pig. So practice changing the onset, that initial letter, and put in any letter you think will form a word. And if you're not so sure, you can ask your mom or your daddy or your teacher and they should be able to help you, okay? Practice that often and you will be a writing person in no time. You'll just be a scholar. We'll just thank God for you every time. Well, it looks like we're at the very end of our lesson. This has been another wonderful lesson. Lesson 22B. Until next time. Goodbye, goodbye, I'll see you next time. Goodbye, goodbye, and may God bless you. Goodbye, goodbye, I'll see you next time. Goodbye, goodbye, and may God bless you. Goodbye, little hero. I'll be your hero's body, and as you study, with heroes born, I will be your friend. So don't you 